In this video, we're going to focus on how we can end up images here in the very center of a segment with the exception of one, for example. And if I refresh here, you will see they will nicely move around. So let's start to explore how to do this. So to do this, first of all, we have to make sure we have the boiler template. The boiler template can be found here on chartgs3.com getting started. Once shown here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many, many others, check out my Patreon page and of course, join the Discord channel. So what we're going to do now is first convert this into a donut chart. Once you create a donut chart, save that, refresh, there we are. Let's remove the scale because a donut chart has no scale. There we are. That looks much, much better. So what I want to do is I want to put it in the center here and I want to grab an image. We'll put it on here. In this case, I will be very straightforward and I'll just grab this image here from chartjs.org. So I'm going to say here, uh, copy image address and then we have that one. There we are. That's the one I'm going to use. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is create a plugin to get the exact coordinate of these segments here where the tooltip is also pointing to. So we're going to say comma here. Then what I will say here is plugins. And then here we can say the segment image copy. Constant segment image will be equal to ID of segment image. And then uh, once I did that, I want to draw the item or the image after the data sets has been drawn or else it will be behind that data set and that would not make any sense. So what I'm going to say here, after data set draw, then I'm going to chart, args, and plugin options. And once I did this, I'm going to say here, what do I need? Well, basically we need very little information. We need to have the constant, or sorry, not the constant, but the CTX of the chart, uh, of the object destructuring of the chart. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, in the video or in the in the description box you'll find a video about this understanding chart as object destructuring so once i did this what i want to do here is load this image and i'm going to just put it in here so constant image will be equal to a new image object once we did that i need to make sure we have a source for this and the source will be the one I grab here, that's this one here. You can grab any source image you want. If you don't want to put it in here, you can put it basically in there. I will show you maybe later on. Doesn't really matter. For now, I'll just assume that every segment will get the identical image, but you could have multiples. So what I want to do next is, once we have loaded this image, I want to make sure we're going to uh, load the item or get the coordinates so we can find the exact location of this. So to do this, well, first of all, I want to say ctx.save to save all variables above, and then we're going to start drawing. So what I want to do here, I'm going to say here, very simple, ctx.draw image. And then in here, I'm going to put in the coordinates of the image. So we say this will be the image, basically. And then we have the x, the y, and then we have the width and the height of the image if you don't want to have the default image height. So we can remove this and then it will automatically grab the default image height, but I will show you later on. So I'm going to grab the image constant, put it in there. Then here for X and Y, for now, I'll just say here 100 by 100. Save, refresh, as you can see here, it is loading. If I would say I want to control the width and the height, I can see 30 pixels in width and 30 pixels in height. Refresh, as you can see here, it starts to change based on whatever I assign it to. If I remove it, it will just get the default height and width dimensions from the image. So in this case, I like this, I'll just keep it like that. So what I want to do now is, um, if I want to get the X and Y coordinates here, I need to start looking at it. So, or looking at how to get those. So to get this, there is a very nice functionality. If I do a console log, I'm going to show you that with a chart dot get data set meta index zero dot data. Let's save that, refresh, open up the console log. And if I open up this and you reload this, sometimes the image will not show. So don't worry about that. Just ignore that for now. 
So, what are we going to do here? We get here the X and Y coordinates, but these X and Y coordinates are in the center. I don't want these. What I need here is basically the two tip coordinates. Because these two tip coordinates, if I refresh, you can see it moves gradually to the right position in the center. Always in the center, no matter the shape or how big it is until it's done loading. So what I want to do here is get that exact position. To do this, I'm going to say I want to go into, for example, the, the data of data point number zero or index zero, which is the very first one, the red one here. And then I'm going to say here dot two tip position. And this is a function that is built in char ks, which is absolutely phenomenal. And as you can see here, it grabs the position. So now I can just say it very straightforward because what I want to do here is I want to get the X and Y coordinates. We get them both. So I say here dot X. So I can say here constant X equals this specific item. And of course the same will be for the Y. Grab that one, put it in here, save, refresh. All right, nothing happens yet. Let's put in here the X and Y coordinates. Save, refresh. Let's do it. And there we are. So now you can see here this works, but it's slightly off. The reason why it's off is not that it's wrong, but it starts at the very left corner here and then draws it at this place because that's the space that it gives. So what I need to do is I need to divide basically this or go 15 pixels back to the left and 15 pixels back to the, to the top. So what I'm going to say here, minus whatever the width is, divide by two. So what I can do here, just to make sure it's very proper i'm going to take the width it will be equal to 30 then i'm going to grab this put it in here and here and then here i say minus width divide by two and then i'll just give it priority although it should be prioritized because of the division has a priority but just in case i'll do this now so now we are exactly in the center as you can see here maybe if you're like me you want to say well this is quite hard to read what if we can put a a uh, circle behind this. So let's do that one as well. That will look proper. Or even before I do this, I would like to make sure that it's on every item here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to grab all of this to the data. And we can do here for each loop. That's very straightforward here. And then I think that this width here, I'll just put it outside so we don't have to load that one multiple times. But we can say here for this for each, for uh, each loop and then we're going to say your data point comma index and then we're going to say your function error expression put that all together cut out this item put that in here these here needs to be because here the data will be based on the index every segment has a different coordinates and if i save this now we should have a proper rotation with all the images beautiful so now how can we put in a arc a circle behind there? To do this, I need to still be within here. And then what I'm going to say here is the following. I'm going to say here ctx.begin path to create a new shape that's independent of anything else. This is very important or else it will bleed over to other items. So then what I want to do is I say ctx.arc. I'm going to create a circle and the circle will start with the x and y coordinates. Then we have here the radius and then we have here the angle start angle ends and finally counterclockwise yes or no counterclockwise but in this case we'll just set it up false doesn't matter we just want a full circle it doesn't matter from which angle we do it so who cares about this ignore that one so here for the angle this is basically based on the math.py to make it very easy we're going to say here 360 degrees to do that I need to have here a new constant where I'm going to say angle multiply by then we multiply oh sorry of course not like that I'm going to say equal math dot pi and we cannot even multiply yet we need to divide this by 180 and the reason why is this one pi is equal to a half circle so what we need to do then is divided by 180 degrees because that's a half circle as well so 2 pi is 360 so now we have the single degree so we can say here for the end because we want a full circle that's 360 we'll just say angle 
multiply by 360 degrees, very straightforward. For the x and y coordinates, they are basically already in the, the exact position here. For the radius, what I will do is, because that's from the center of the circle to the outer edge, how many pixels? Well, luckily we already have that, is the width divided by 2. Because that is from the center, so it's both sides, it will calculate nicely. So once I did this, we're not done yet. I almost want to go there, but we're not yet done because I need to give it a color. So say CTX that fill style and make this, let's say black for now. And then we're going to say CTX dot fill, which is draw the fill shape. Save this, refresh. All right, we get a slight error here. Let's see what's going on here. Can access the X coordinates before we define them, which makes sense. This here needs to go up. So let's say here at the very top, save, refresh, there we are. All right, that works. So now refresh again, and now we have them nicely. So what would happen if I would have a cut out percentage of the donut? Uh, we can do it here up, say uh, cut out, and we'll make this, let's say 80%, save, refresh. You can see it will still be in a nice, or still be positioned in the center. Beautiful. All right, so the final option is what if you would have more images, how would you do this? Well, in this case, what you could do here is just do it here. For example, here, we could say here images, we can make this, make an array, and then we put in all these images in here. And we could just say here, one, two, and three, four. Oh, sorry. That is five, six, and seven. All right, we'll look through these here. Just do the same logic then we can just say here this should then be cut out put into this for loop here and what we're going to do now is get this item to get this item i need to go into the data object so i say comma data basically this here gives us the access to here data then we can go to data sets and then we can grab whatever we want so what i want to do here then is data dot data uh, sets index zero dot what's the name of it image if I'm not mistaken there we are image index save that refresh and as you can see here this works if I would get a remove one let's see what we get it's blanket there we are one is blank the others are all working beautiful and that's it